Something, uh, something, uh, Lazarus pun. And we're playing Isaac. We're playing as Lazarus. Lazarus starts off with three hearts of pill. Not a great pill, apparently. And also with an extra life thing. And the way it works is that if I die, I respawn with like one heart, I think, or maybe half a heart. I'm not 100% sure. But it respawns me without like letting me leave the room. And I think it also increases my damage slash speed. It at least increases my speed. I don't know if it actually increases my damage at all. Also, I probably should have gone to my item room first, but we're fighting the Duke of Flies, so it's like whatever. We can probably take down the Duke of Flies without any items. It just requires us to hit a bunch of him and a bunch of flies and whatnot. So, you know, if we had gotten the haunt, it would have been a bit worse. But I don't think you can, I don't think you can actually get the haunt outside of the cellar. And I'm pretty sure we're in the basement. No, we're not. All right, so uh, all in all, uh, good choices all around. But sh certainly the uh, Duke of Flies is going to give us something which will make this run a lot easier. Here's the seed. I figured I should show it while I was fighting this guy. It sort of looked like the seed said the word salt somewhere, so that's a good start as well. Promising. Promising seed right there. And good stuff. But yeah, Lazarus, I don't really like him all that much. He just seems a bit generic to me. I'm not really sure what it is about him, but there's just something about him that doesn't really make him stand out all that much over other characters. And the fact that we started off with a speed down pill is also really not helping his case either. Amnesia, but... Given the floor we're on, it doesn't really matter too much that we got amnesia. At least we're getting all the terrible pills in the first floor, because man... Are you wizard amnesia? And speed down? Like, it's just uh, a whole grand combination of wonderful things. Right now, I'll just walk back and forth like this so I can actually hit anything, but... Yeah, not really digging this start so far. But who knows, maybe the item room is gonna make us... Wow, that's pretty good. That changes everything. Now we can poop. Now we have the ability to poop. Very nice. I'm tempted to just die and just uh, have that extra speed and damage and stuff, but whatever. I'm um, not, I'm playing fairly recklessly right now. But I'm sure it's all gonna be a okay. Also, like, because he starts with a pill, he doesn't have a key or a bomb. And I'd rather just not die ever, so... With some luck, we won't ever actually have to use the, the thingy thing. At least we got a golden key in the one floor where we don't actually have a use for it. So that's good. I mean, we could go into a shop, I guess, but simultaneously, like, we, we have no coins. <laughs> we have no bombs, so we can't go into our secret room. And there's just nothing there. If there was two rooms with, um... If there were two rooms that were locked, at least then one of them would be potentially interesting. But as it stands, it's just... Look, the BFF item. I can't do anything with that. I wouldn't have minded having that because it's not bad. But it's not helping us. We're just gonna keep going. Maybe floor number two is gonna have anything. <laughs> we got one pickup, which was that half a heart. Everything else was just... It was trash. <laughs> At least we got to know what's in our pill pool. So we got that going for us. We got another golden key, which is odd. Maybe Lazarus secretly has the ability to just have golden keys spawn everywhere, but... Somehow I doubt that's a thing. Somehow I doubt that that is indeed a thing. Because I feel like people would mention Lazarus' innate ability to spawn golden keys all over the place. And they don't. No one does. But, you know. We should be grateful for what we got. Maybe we can get ourselves a petrified poop trinket and then our poop item will be less bad. I mean, you know, it could happen. Maybe one of these. There's a lot of poop. There you go. That's what I was waiting for. We got what we wanted. And immediately five coins. Everything's going perfect. The poop has saved us. The petrified poop has saved their lives. I might get... Well, I might get that if we get a better item. <laughs> because it doesn't really work very well with the poop. And with that, I mean it does nothing. But, you know. If, if we get something that isn't the poop, that would be bland, great, perfect, give us things. There we go, another coin. Ah, uh, yeah, we're in the basement, so the boss we're fighting probably isn't going to be too hard, but I'm first going to find my item room this time around, on account that I would like to have pretty much anything. I would be okay with getting just about any item, plus there's apparently another locked room in here, so... With some luck, we can get something neato. 
Uh... Yeah, I mean... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just, yeah. I guess I'll just use this a couple times. Oh, we got a battery. Bomb. And Blackheart. That was good. That was what I was hoping for. I was kind of hoping for a Soulheart or Blackheart. With this item, it's always a bit unpredictable, obviously. On account that you can just pretty much get anything. Also, I like that four of these enemies are champions. That's just perfect. Especially since two of those are probably gonna explode when they die. But you know, we're 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 trudging through. We're winning. We're fighting these evildoers. Of course he first breaks into his legged counterpart and therefore doesn't kill his friend. But you know. It worked out in the end. Speed down, good. I was hoping we'd get another one of those. I was feeling a bit lonely without an excess of speed down pills at my disposal. But here we are. Getting more of them. Very nice. This is a big floor, at least in uh, essence when it comes to uh, thingy things, like the item room just being on the absolute edge of where I want it to be. Also, these guys are not friends of mine. I'm trying to destroy them before all the small spiders are going to come out, and it's too late. Everything's ruined. But these guys are so fast, and sometimes they just zoom into me like some sort of mad spider spawning jerk face. Like how it's so fast. And with, with that speed down pill we got, it's not helping. But at least we got this going for us. We might be able to get a secret room over here, actually. Let's hope. Nope. But at least we got another soul heart from that tinted rock. There's the thing I wanted. And, you know, we got a golden key, so I should be grateful about that as well. And we got a damage up, which is actually pretty nice. I do like anything which increases my damage. Plus, it also gives us another health container. If we were trying to unlock Maggie right now, I would be pretty happy. But we're not. And we're fighting Lust. So with some luck, we might get another either horrible pill or we get the virus. And honestly, I'm sort of rooting for the virus at this point, given how our pill pool looks. But there we go. Look at that. We got a poison touch. Just what I wanted. Now we're ready to take down whichever boss is haunting these floors. And surely it'll probably be either Peep or Larry Jr. I mean, it could be uh, the other one, I guess. The one with the thing strapped to his face. Or a dingle. I mean, actually, there's quite a lot of basement bosses thinking about it. <laughs> but, you know, at least it's not the haunt. That's all I care about because the haunt is a jerk. And dingle is fairly easy. He only has, like, that zoom attack is... Can be a bit tricky to avoid sometimes if he's being overly rude about how he bounces around, but other than that, it's mostly just his. And he's repeating this attack over and over, which is grand. It's, uh, I was hoping for that, actually. I was hoping he'd repeat the dash attack over and over. Because that's the one thing I'm just very good at, at dodging, you see. Because that is a lot harder to dodge, those tears right there. When he whistles, he spawns a little poop, but then he just also shoots again, so it's like... In advance, I don't know why he just doesn't always use that attack instead of just shooting tears from time to time, but you know. It's his choice, it's his call, and whatever he wants to do. We got speed ups, so that's good. Okay, should we take all of that? Let's take all of it. Let's go nuts. I like flies, I like masks, which potentially give me more soul hearts. Plus, we got so many health containers during this thing anyway, so it's like, why not? And we got another soul heart from our Book of Sins. So all in all, things are looking peachy. We got an all right thing going on over here. Those extra flies are probably going to help us out quite a bit. I don't actually remember what was in our store, and I vaguely remember it being okay, but we didn't have the coins for it anyway. We might have been able to get some from our secret room, but I forgot it existed, so, you know, that happens from time to time. We're just going to have to hope that being able to fly and being able to shoot flies very slowly is going to save us this day. I'm hoping to get some more keys out of... Like our Book of Sins. It is a very potential possibility. Trying to... <laughs> was trying to kill him with the TNT barrel, but instead he just decided to die anyway, which is kind of nice as well, I suppose. Wouldn't mind some more bombs either, actually. And the change rune. There are also other runes available, but I believe you unlock basically all of them via challenges. And honestly, I'm pretty okay with only having this rune available, because it's probably one of the better ones, actually. There is another one called Abundance as well, which is pretty great, and... We'll probably be seeing that in a later run, but I quite like this one for now. Especially since we have no other way of changing items into other items right now, so it's like... It's a nice alternative. Plus we can get a, uh... I believe it's called the blank card from the shop. And that actually allows us to use it as like a space use item in a way. Like it just sort of mimics whatever card you have 
in in the bottom right over there and i believe it also works for boons and having that would actually be pretty great i would definitely take that over the book of sins personally there we go got another key which is good and a tarot card of strength i might keep that for now actually use that do we have a curse of the maze going on <laughs> it does appear so because we went down and we appeared up it was a clever ruse but we were not disturbed we got a lot of coins i'm pretty okay with that Okay, so this is uh, the anarchist cookbook. It uh, makes the bombs if you use it. I'm just gonna use it once for the sake of showing it off and also managing to accidentally kill everyone in that room. So all in all, pretty good use. It's a pretty okay item if you have like no bombs. And I just remembered I probably should have used it on that barricaded door at the top over there instead of just some random enemies, but you know. Th these are these hindsight thoughts that you think of after you've done the deed already and it's like, oh well. It's too late for that now. Too late to worry about such shenanigans. Can we please get a good pill? Yeah, that's actually really good. <laughs> I'm pretty okay with that. Um, so I'm not actually sure what this does. I, I feel like... I think what it does is that, like... Um, God, the hearts are really blocking that donation machine right now. But I think what it does is that it changes, like, single key pickups into double key pickups now. But... I'm not actually 100% sure about that. I believe it's like the equivalent to the Bogo Bombs or whatever they were called. Only for keys, but... Yeah, it's uh... I don't think we picked it up yet, so I figured we might as well. Another golden key! That's the third one this run. That's getting pretty ridiculous. But fair enough, I guess. At least now we can check out... Whatever... Oh, no, wait, we, we can't go there because... That requires two bombs to open up. I'm just gonna use my strength card here because I kind of want to have my change rune for when we start fighting the boss. I might as well use it against some of the rather championistic enemies. That is a word. I'm going to stick with it. That is what I believe. Kill the small ones because it's scary. I'm actually, like, I do prefer killing the small ones first because they take less tears to kill and they do all still shoot three tears at once after all and there's a lot of tears to get in your face. Not something I wish to deal with. And there we go. Another room cleared. I would have I would like to have a third bomb actually. I would also like to go into this room one day. There we go. Because if there is like a carpet we can bomb in the room where we can destroy the barricade, I'd rather do that actually. I'd rather destroy the carpet and have a chance of getting a neat little item from uh, whatever is underneath the carpet because there is a chance of not just trinkets dropping in that little room. There could also be items. It could also lead to something a little bit more interesting, but we will see what we get. For now, we're just going to keep destroying random crap in this room. At least we got a third bomb from that chest. So if we get a fourth one, I might try to get a secret room. If not, then... Hey! In that case, I will definitely try and see if there is a secret room. It's probably going to be below us, actually. But who knows? Maybe we'll be lucky? No. Alright. In that case, I will... Oh, cool! It actually opened up because of the Curse of the Maze. I guess because if you go through a door and you end up going through this one, it just opens up if it, even if it was locked or something. So that, I didn't actually realize that until now that we went through that door at some point. So fair enough, I guess. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna blow that up. And that uh, just leads to the next floor. We can't currently sleep in the bed because we have full red hearts. So, so much for that, but yeah, because there's no ladder, it would just take us to the next floor, and I'd rather not right now. On account that, I still want to kill the boss. There might be a devil deal somewhere along those lines, and that would be nice. I'm gonna blow that up. And I was kind of hoping to get a magic mushroom or something, but I guess not. Amnesia, are you a wizard? And... Lemon party! I mean, you know, it could have been good. <laughs> it had the potential of being incredibly nice, but... It's still pretty good, it's just not very good for the situation of being in the middle of a room. But, you know, you gotta take what you can get, I guess. Let's go. Let's fight Mega Man. Or whatever. Mega Maw, I guess. I'm just gonna call it Mega Man forever, probably, because that's just the name I keep seeing every time we fight this guy. And our, our pretty fly actually stopped the fire there, so thank you for that. Thank you for your aid and assistance. It didn't stop all of those tears, though. <laughs> pretty fly, maybe good. Not Bob's brain level of good, but it's it can be good. Also, the 
enemies actually block those fires as well, which is kind of nice. Pentagram gives us a little bit more damage. And we're just going to go into that devil deal. And I think I'd rather have the goat head than anything else. So at least our next couple of devil deals are going to be guaranteed. And that is obviously something we want. Because the more devil deals, the merrier. We got a game kid unlocked for... I think it's just because we went into a whole bunch of arcade rooms. I think you just need to go into arcade rooms X amount of times and then you just unlock that, which is kind of nice. I would like to unlock the thing this guy gives for playing with him a whole bunch of times, but instead we're just gonna get more and more keys. This entire seed is just uh, the, the, the key seed, I guess. We get golden keys on every floor so far. And a whole bunch of just regular keys as well. Like, how many things do you feel like we need to unlock in this game, I question. But fair enough, I guess. Probably should have gotten in there with a the bomb, but I was too curious. That could have been an item. Not always is there one of those blow upable chests after all, so I just figured I'd win for it. Didn't really work out in the end, but oh well. At least. Nice. At least uh, the first item we got wasn't immediately like a bomb from the Book of Sins, so I'm not overly bothered by that. We're just gonna take what we can get. Tears up! So we are getting to the good pills now, so that's good, I guess. A two. I think that. Um, I'm pretty sure this re-rolls items inside the room, I think. Like, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's all two does, so you might as well at least show off what happens when you go into the middle there. The entire room becomes dark and then it does its thing, but I'm pretty sure that's all it does. Like, it's not overly effective, obviously. You can open all of these. I was saying I'm going to open all of these. There we go. More bombs. At least they're helping out fighting this little guy over here, so... We should be at least a little bit grateful. I was secretly hoping it would just teleport us to our devil deal and then we wouldn't have to fight any of these guys, but you can't win them all. At least we got a bomb now, so, you know, we should be grateful about that. I don't actually remember when we got that bomb, but I'm just saying in general, we should be happy about our bomb situation. At least uh, the peep won't be able to hit us with his uh, yellow creep over there on account that we are flying. So I'm not scared of you. This time around, we're not going to take damage every time we have the option to take damage from enemies. This time, we're going to be super dodge pros because today's run is being recorded on a different day than the last three runs. And let's be honest, those runs were not very good. <laughs> but that's just how it goes. Sometimes is a good day for Isaac. Sometimes it's a bad day for Isaac. Today is a pretty okay day for Isaac, I'd say. It's going pretty okay. We're getting a lot of keys. Getting a really absurd sort of quantity of keys, but you know that's uh, that's nice. Sometimes you don't get any keys at all, and then we cry. We cry tears of sadness and unhappy and other such words, which generally mean the same thing. We're just gonna kill all these guys. At least they're nice and slow, so we could take out the right side of the room first before dealing with the left side. And they took their time to get to us as well. Looking for my item room right now, but. It does look like we just have to go further down. Or did we already see our item room in this floor? I never remember. I never remember anything while playing this game. I just sort of shoot at things and watch as my character sort of changes shape. That's all I really pay attention to. Everything else is just an afterthought. I just like to kill little worms. Kill little worms, unlock new things, get better builds, get silly things to happen, and eventually win the game. And then they'll say uh, we are platinum gods and... We will be pleased with ourselves. And then we just do runs forever and ever and ever afterwards. Oop. Gotta be at least a little bit careful, but we did take out a lot of enemies there, so I'm pretty okay with that. Wouldn't have minded a little bit more soul hearts, because we are going to get a devil deal on this floor, obviously. And having soul hearts would help. Or maybe a heart container, that would help as well, obviously. But it's more like... Well, I guess we can get like heart, container, heart containers from the boss kills and stuff as well, so there's that. Oh, that fly just killed... Did a single fly just kill that champion? Because that is a pretty strong fly right there. I didn't know we were dealing that amount of damage. But fair enough, I guess. I'm not gonna say no to that. I'm just gonna blindly accept that. I'll take that as well. Stompy! It gives us big hair, and it makes us also destroy rocks when we walk over them. And... It, it's not always good because it can't accidentally like have you destroy mushrooms you don't want to destroy and take a whole bunch of damage, but 
We can use it to destroy all these rocks and maybe there's a ladder hiding underneath it. Every single rock can contain a ladder after all. And we might as well look at all of them. Plus, because of our petrified poop, it makes destroying the poops a little bit quicker and we can get some cool stuff out of that as well. I wouldn't be surprised if we find greed to the left over there. So I'm actually going to take Lemon Party with me first. There we go. Using it! It's actually not bad, as you can see. It, it's pretty good at destroying worlds like these ones. And we finally actually had a use for it for a change. And this time I expected Greed to be there. We're in the Caves 2. This is actually a pretty slow run. <laughs> like 19 minutes in, we're in the Caves 2. Not not the quickest pace, obviously. But to be fair, we, we are not really going for the quickest pace during any of our runs so far. Except for maybe the Magdalene one where our build was ridiculous. But yeah, we the faster runs will come... Eventually. First, I'm just gonna take my time, play it slow. Probably after, like, I've died for the first time, I'll probably start speeding up the runs a bit more just because I'll get impatient and wanna just destroy my enemies as quickly as possible. Get my revenge on these fools. But until then, we're just gonna take it slow, have a little bit of fun with it, just clear out the various rooms available to us, and have a good old time. And that's what I'm gonna focus I'm just gonna focus on having fun. Everything else is an afterthought. There we go. That's Gertie. Gertie's dead. And we're getting damage. I'll take that. I'll take that any day of the week. And that is a lot of nothing. That is a lot of nothing. Wow. That's kind of sad. But we got tears up, so I guess it's a little bit of something. And I got puberty, which is, in fact, actually nothing. So, you know, that's, uh, that's a thing. And at least now that we've gotten greed in a shop... I'm pretty sure it sort of decreases the chance of greed being here. I've had greed show up on one floor and then super greed show up the next one. So it's like, thanks game. But I think we should be pretty okay. Wow, we got hit by a lot of brimstone there. And tears. Wow, that was not safe at all. That's not a good start to the depths. One bit, but whatever. Whatever, I guess. I'm not good. Should I open that? I'm tempted to. I'm going to open it. I'm, I'm feeling daring. There we go. Mask of infamy. Now we can look like these guys and pretend we're one of them. But for some reason, my clever disguise is not working. It's as if it, the hair is giving it away, I think. What, they, they might be realizing that I am, in fact, not one of them. <laughs> Should I get grabbed? I've never gotten grabbed by these guys while recording, I think. But simultaneously, it's like, I don't really want to get grabbed by giant hands coming out of the sky. That seems like something I don't want to do at all. And I'm trying to avoid it whenever I can. So one day, you'll probably see me get grabbed by those hands when I'm not paying close attention, but... For now, we managed to avoid it every time. And I am taking that as a victory. But let's just keep on going. Also, with Stompy, we can destroy all of these skulls as well. And that's obviously really nice. We can get some cool items out of that. We got a Soul Heart because we took damage by accident. So that's cool. Sun Card, Temperance Card, Death Card. We already unlocked an economic combat. I'm going to use it anyway because I feel like it. More Tarot. Hermit Card. That's not bad. I'm going to use my Sun Card over here. I should have used that a little bit later because now everyone's still alive. I always forget with these guys that they're like slightly slower to start up and you can't actually do that. It never works. Why do I keep trying? I don't know. I'm not a smart person. But yeah, I'll uh, just pretend that didn't happen. But we will just go back for our hermit cart in just a moment. At least we got our map right now and I'm pretty happy about that. And also it appears that our shop is... Never mind, we're not gonna use our hermit card because I would rather have my change rune for the item room and then by then we might as well just keep on going on account that we're nearly at the shop and boss room anyway. Plus, again, we're not really going for speed right now. So the map was kind of nice to have at least. At least uh, that sun card is being very friendly on giving us an idea where we have to go. And it speeds up the pace a little bit, you know? Should be happy. That's a lot of tears coming towards me. All these greed heads. These greed heads, as well as these flying, like the hanging ones, they're all just very greedy. They all want my coins to go into their little laps. I don't want that, obviously. That's a little bit of extra damage, so I will take that. Also, a health container in this game. I'm pretty sure it wasn't a health container in the previous game, and it always confuses me. Oh, and that's actually not bad. I will gladly take that. That is the dry baby. And the dry baby can spawn from skulls, it can spawn from item rooms, and all in all, it is a pretty nifty item. There we go. Take that. Was there a black heart here? Can't really tell. But yeah, Dry Baby, it blocks tears. And when it's blocked a sufficient amount of tears, it does a thing. And you'll probably see the thing. It does a death type thing. And it, it makes the death happen. 
And that's good. Let's destroy all these fires. Get a whole bunch of nothing. Guppy's tail, which is actually pretty good right now on account that we have a lot of keys. So I'm pretty happy about that. Plus, it's obviously one guppy piece, which I will pretty much never say no to. Accidentally found a uh, sacred heart or eternal heart over there. I don't even know what they're called anymore. I'm just going to call them random things and uh, pretend I know what I'm talking about. When quite evidently I usually don't. I'm just saying words, but... We're, as long as we're victorious, then at least it'll sort of seem like I have a general idea. Gonna destroy everything over there, because even though we're big and hairy, we're not actually very capable when it comes to destroying what uh, may be referred to as fire. That That is how some people would refer that particular element right there. I, I think it, I'm not sure if it works on barrels either, so I'm actually gonna be a little bit careful about that, but... I'm not actually 100% sure if that works on TNT barrels, and I'd obviously rather not risk it, so we're not we're just not going to do that. You can also use a strength card in like a devil deal room and use that heart container to buy like a devil deal item as well sometimes. And on that occasion it might actually be better to take the strength card with us, but I'm just uh, I'm just going to keep my change room. I quite like change. Change is good. Gotta have some change in life every now and then. And that's exactly what I believe when dealing with these nasty situations. And a whole bunch of golden chests, whole bunch of mun muns, whole bunch less keys. Watching out for that bomb because that will hurt our feelings. Oh yeah, we got the 50% off thing from Greed. Do I want tarot cards more? Not really. But I'm gonna buy it anyway because I don't remember ever having it. Two of diamonds. Well, look at that. We just doubled our money. <laughs> and get, in that case, I'll buy this battery as well. And get a moon card. Uh, I guess I'll take that. Oh, yeah, look at that. Hot mushroom. It makes us shoot super quick, like. And that's actually not so bad. So, all in all, good stuff. It probably has a downside. It probably, like, makes me deal less damage or something like that. But I don't know about those things. I, I don't know about those things. That guy's red, but actually he's white. Because he spawned a spider. He was just a sneaky little champion that looked exactly the same as the normal ones. Except that he was slightly bigger. But he was being very sneaky about it. Uh, and I think that's all about everything I want to explore. Bloat, still a jerk, still very lasery, still not a friend of ours. But at least while we start next to him, he's generally quite bad at hitting us with the actual lasers. On account that his height is a bit confused about where he's actually shooting. Getting hit by his own eyes, which... It is a little bit silly, obviously, but I think we'll be pretty okay during the during the length of this battle. Oh, and the dry baby just blocked a whole bunch of tears, apparently, and decided to use his death effect, which deals a little bit of extra damage. Getting a halo because we're such a good character, I guess. And I'll take that. Fear shot, always fun. Makes our tears look cool. And you can also always basically destroy the rock which is sort of hiding underneath this devil statue over here very occasionally i think it acts as a tinted rock and give you can give you soul hearts because of that but it's pretty rare and i generally don't bother with it if i don't have something like stompy like i do now but you know when you have stompy might as well use it get those secret soul hearts that are hiding in there there's also um a user named biznap made an april fool's video once of the original game where he got a soul heart out of one of those and in the original game, you actually couldn't get soul hearts out of that thing. And for a long, long time, everyone strongly believed that it was possible in the original game. And it was, it was good times. It was good times and free grog. But in this game, it is actually possible. And in this game, we are going to believe in the soul hearts coming out of that thing every single time. I like how I said that I didn't really want uh, tarot cards over the Book of Sin, and then I left with the Book of Sin. That's, you, that's basically just my memory being as good as it is. So uh, I guess we're gonna get a lot of tarot cards from this point on. It would be nice if we could actually like reroll anything with our change rune ever, but you know, at least we got a lot of health going on right now. We got a lot of flying, we got a lot of speed, we got a reasonable amount of damage. Wouldn't mind a little bit more, obviously, but when, when wouldn't that be the case, I suppose? I would always like more damage, because damage makes me deal the more damage -ness. And the more damage -ness, ness makes the life of life a little bit easier peasier. And I want the life of life to be a little easy peasy. But overall, like, our damage is fine. Like, we are 
sturdily surviving through these scary things. We're not getting overly destroyed all the time. We got another two of diamonds so we can double our 99 coins and make them 99 coins instead because that's the max we can carry. But at least we're getting a lot of diamonds cards, so that's good. That's the good stuff right there. Who knows, maybe we're gonna find like five shops this floor and we have to buy everything. Well, then that would be pretty useful. I mean, it's impossible, but you know, it could happen uh, if, if it wasn't. So, yeah. All in all, I'm feeling pretty positive about the entire thing. Uh, we're in the depths too. I guess we're gonna go back and actually try and find our item rooms and things on account of that Once we enter that mom room all the doors are closed and we won't be able to go back And then I won't be able to get the snazzy items for my item room like uh, I feel like we're gonna get Like 99 bombs maybe from this this item room. That seems like a cool thing. I would like 99 bombs I'm gonna say it's somewhat unlikely, but it would be nice Our uh, mask of infamy being strong as ever Broken stopwatch, that's, well, I have 99 coins, so I don't really have a reason not to buy it, but it's a pretty decent item. It's sort of, I think it's dependent on your luck stat, but it has a chance of slowing down all the enemies for the entirety of the room. And uh, there is an item which is a little bit better than that one, but we don't have that in luck quite yet. But you'll see when the enemies are slowed down, and it is quite nice when it does activate after all, so... Given that we have 99 coins, we might as well buy it. Emperor card, nice. Chariot card, also good. I guess I'll take that. Judas's tongue, I might actually take that. Because I believe what it does is that it makes all your devil deals cost one heart container maximum. Hey look, it slowed down all the enemies. And we use our chariot card for funsies. Makes the music go weird and things. I'll not take that, but yeah. This, uh, this might actually be a pretty good trinket if we can get a decent devil deal out of this floor. And if not this floor, maybe the next floor. Either way, I'd say it's worth taking on account that we only have two heart containers and we might get something that would ordinarily cost two. So let's hope for the goodness of the devil deal. Let's also hope we'll one day actually find our item room because it seems to be cleverly hiding somewhere in the mists of time. Maybe over here? Hey, it slows down the image. It also slows down the music, but this, mu this particular music is a bit... Weird and haunting like, so it can be kind of hard to tell. I guess I might as well use this thing. Maybe we can get another heart container. Maybe we can get this thing. Which, uh, isn't another heart container, but it would be nice. I, I think I'd rather have the enemies be slowed down on this room, obviously, but, you know. Can't win them all. Cannot win them all. If we could win them all, well, we I guess technically we have won them all so far, but it, it would be nice to win even more. Book of Revelations, I probably should take that, but I'm kind of enjoying getting a whole bunch of tarot cards all the time, so... Uh, I could re-roll it, I guess. Let's see what's in this room first. Maybe there's like a whole bunch of books in this one. Or maybe there's three great chests. I mean, that's also a possibility, I suppose. Um, yeah, I think I might re-roll my item room just for funsies. Let's just check in this room to see if there was anything cool here, but... I'm gonna say this is a considerably uncool room. All things considered. Yeah, I'm just gonna do it. Get something good! That's terrible! Alright! Well, you know, we tried. I guess I probably should have rerolled this one instead. But at least we got a strength card we can use now, so we can destroy Mom very quickly. And we can destroy all these guys very quickly. We could use this two of hearts, I guess. It would put our... make our half of a red heart a full heart, so that's kind of nice. It would also be a little bit pointless, but, you know, it's a thing we could do. If we had a whole lot of art containers, would be a really nice item. But we don't, so it isn't. But, uh, maybe, uh, maybe, maybe our dry baby's gonna be blocking a lot of the red tears that are coming out of these guys. Maybe the red tears will never make it to us on account that they just very quickly die. I don't really like Dark Matter Shot during this boss fight because of his, like, I don't really like it during any boss that jumps around like this because... They, it becomes very unpredictable where they're actually gonna go. Obviously, when they are feared, they will just go away from you, and if they aren't feared, they'll go towards you. So you kind of want to find that middle ground and just go into a corner where they're most likely not gonna go. But it's it's always spooking me when things don't act the way I'm e expecting. Muscle memory and whatnot, and all that stuff. Let's use our two hearts. We're at full health now. It didn't actually close the door behind us, so I guess once you've actually cleared a room like that, it'll actually just stay open. Wasn't actually sure about that. Boop. And uh, I also forget that we have Stompy because our Mask of Infamy is somehow hiding all of our hair that we got from Stompy, which is sort of impressive. Is it? Maybe? Um, 
I was considering using my strength card here, but then I remembered if we get like a devil deal where we like require a whole bunch of hearts, we might be able to use our strength heart from that. So I'm just going to play it a little bit slower than I could be doing and hope for a ridiculous devil deal instead. It's, uh, it's fairly unlikely, but you know, it could happen. And when something can happen, you got to go for it. You got to believe. And apparently we got a soul heart. I guess we still have that mask as well. It's, we have a lot of masks on at once right now. <laughs> it's kind of hard to remember which ones are d actually doing what. Sometimes when we have this many masks at our disposal. Can you please? There we go. Mr. Squeezy. Okay, let's see what's in here. It's Krampus. Was kind of hoping for basically anything that wasn't Krampus. But you know, maybe we can get Krampus's head. And maybe not, but at least now we can sort of show off the coal, so that's kind of good, I suppose. Look at how it slightly makes our tears bigger as they fly further. It might be kind of hard to see, actually, but fair enough. Bob's Rotten Head. Do you want Bob's Rotten Head over tarot cards? Probably. I mean, I don't mind it too much, honestly. It's a pretty decent item. Do I really want more tarot cards? Yeah, probably, actually. I'll just go with this. Miss Squeezy, gonna give us a bit of a tears up, give us two soul hearts, which we cannot actually pick up. Just gonna break all these rocks in case there is a tinted one, which I cannot see. And off we go. Maybe the devil deal in, in, in this floor is gonna have the bee's knees worth of items, after all. That'll be good. And if it doesn't, then, uh, sadness. I'll probably... If it doesn't, then I'll just use my strength card on Mum. Or maybe on Satan, because we'll probably go to Satan during this run. It's going pretty well. So we might as well try and see if we can destroy good old Satan. That wouldn't be such a bad idea. We have a reasonable amount of bombs and keys right now as well, so pretty happy about that. Boop. Two diamonds, because we just can't get enough of the diamonds, apparently. That's the third diamond card. The broken stopwatch activating, also slowing down tears, which is always nice, obviously. Especially with these enemies that are just popping up all over the place. Nee, 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 nee. Bunch of pickups. I want something that gives me more damage. There's a couple of items which are hiding inside those golden chests that I want, and they're just not showing up for me right now. Even though we have a pretty good chance of getting more and more golden chests and things, we are just only getting the Mask of Infamy and nothing else really. And it's making me mad. It's making me oh so mad. We actually got the umbilical cord out of one of those little rock things. That's kind of nice, I guess. I don't really want it over. Like Judas's tongue, in case we get the god, the god, uh, the the god devil room, which is sort of not that those words mean different things. But you know, you know, you need to get a decent idea of what I mean. I'm just gonna stand behind these rocks over here and hope that we don't die. Two Mega Mons, but we're too strong for that guy. Plus, this room is fairly gigantic, and the fire is just not reaching us ever. But he tried. He did. He made a good attempt. And I'd say he gets a gold star for his, uh, his attempt. Die long legs. I don't like this boss, but I believe he's actually slowed down at least a little bit. Although the slowdown doesn't really work very well on this boss, actually. But yeah, his, his feet can be a little bit random, but he died fairly quickly on account of we are very, very strong. What do we got? All right. Well, we got two items at least. And two bombs. Might as well... Take both of these, Arnest. Let's just take both of these. Friends till the end. Dealing a little bit more damage thanks to the mark. Was there a soul heart we left behind? I guess we didn't. Oh well. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep going. I don't really have anything else to go about the, the, the doing this here, so... Let's just find our way to the end of this particular world. Then try to find Satan and end it all. How did that one guy die? Oh, I guess we still have the flies from the rotten baby. I was confused, like, how did that one person just die? But it all makes sense now. Um, I'll take this one. And everyone slow down! High Priestess! It actually damaged the strongest enemy, which I'm kind of happy about. <laughs> this is actually quite a nice... I mean, it made the slowdown music for a second, I think. But now it, everyone's not slowed down, so I don't know what I was thinking. It looked like... Was it... Am I going mad? I might be going mad. There's a reasonable chance, but... I could have sworn that they were slowed down when I entered the room. Very strange. That's a lot of red chests right here. Can we find something cool? We got ourselves a soul heart. I obviously want to kill mom first before going in there. It's gonna open regardless anyway, so it's like, why not? 
Come on. Just hoping for one more guppy piece so we could be guppy, but instead we got a pretty fly, which is also not a bad, bad trip, which is considerably less good, but you know, it exists. And uh, if we die, we have a chance of surviving even more. Yeah, like, uh, I don't, I don't know what's going on. The stopwatch is confusing me. I'm getting overly confused with all of these musical cues. I'm gonna open this. You never know. It could have contained something good. Instead, it just didn't. But it could have. And when something can, it's worth it, sort of. That's that's the mindset you gotta use for your entire life. When something can, you should. That's uh, <laughs> It's very non-specific. But that means you can use it in multiple areas of your life. And that makes it more valuable information for life in general. Because no one really knows what they're doing. Everyone just sort of winging it. And so should you. Where's mom? Where's mom's heart hiding now? We got all the way to the left and then the left turned out to be the wrong direction. And that makes me rather angry. I wish we actually had that item which allows us to carry around two tarot cards. That will make this the tarot card spawning thing item a little bit better at least. But didn't get it. Makes me sad. At least we're getting an infinite amount of bombs and keys and things from all these golden chests we're finding. One day we'll actually get, like, Tammy's head, or Max's head, or any other head that lives. Credit card. Would have liked that a little bit sooner. I liked how, um, I never really got a credit card until I started, like, recording the game, and now we're just either getting credit cards when I don't know how it actually works, or we're just getting credit cards in places where you just can't use them anymore. But, you know... It's a nice gesture, and we should be grateful for what we have been given this day. Or whatever. I just want to find mom. I just want to find her heart and crush it with my tears. That's all I want to do. It's the only thing I'm asking for, and all this game is giving me is a lot of rooms. At least occasionally the rooms are slowed down, but still. I want to find ma'am. Oh, we actually got two of them in one floor. Look at that rarity right there. Uh, do we want to break all of this? Kinda. Oop. Let's break it with the bam. Boom! Mm. Would have liked something a little bit more something. How do we not take damage from those tears? I have no idea. Fair enough, I guess. And we found ma'am! We found ma'am! So now we just gotta take care of these jerks and then we can find ma'am! Another one? What the hell? I mean, sure, I guess, but it's... You've been overly generous today, game. Overly generous. I'm starting to distrust it a little bit. What is behind this mystical message that you're trying to send over here? And we hit man with the bam! And also we can just hide behind our, like, dry baby right here because it will just block all of these tears that she's shooting. And actually deal a little bit more damage because of it, because that's how the dry baby works. So for this boss, dry baby, pretty good. If, if we were going into that chest, the ending would look roughly like this. But I'm not going into that chest. I also didn't remember what ending actually that is or what it actually gives. But we'll find out the moment we go here. Begotten baby because we're Lazarus. Feed us in the jar. Oh, that's actually quite fun. That unlocks an interesting challenge. That unlocks Demo Man. And I do actually want to do that challenge very badly. High Priestess. Slow down music. Was kind of hoping that it would hit a little bit sooner and kill all of those guys. But instead... We're just gonna have to be a little careful and just get blown up instead. At least we're still getting soul hearts from getting hit every now and then because of that wonderful mask under our mask under our mask. So, we got that going for us. I guess I might as well take this instead of uh, whatever we got right now. Two clubs. Sure, 66 bombs. That's a reasonable number of bombs to carry around with me. But yeah, Judas' tongue at this point, it's just gonna be useless unless we find a Joker card. But then I'll just go back for it if I remember. Which I probably won't, but... Yeah, if we get a Joker card, we can still get a Devil Deal here. It will just function as a regular Devil Deal. It just doesn't open. Like, you do need a Joker card to actually get in there on this particular floor. But I, I doubt we'll get one of those. We do have the Terra card spawning item right now. So, obviously, the odds of getting certain Terra cards is a little bit increased. But, yeah. And just going to blow up all these fires because we have so many booms. So many booms. 
And we're gonna go onwards. We slowed down this room that contained a single pill of bad trip for nothing else. So, you know, thank you, Broken Stopwatch, for being a pal. Helping us out whenever it can. Pretty happy about that. I'm also pretty happy I took those Devil Deals early on in the run. Because, honestly, our Devil Deals, they, they could have been better. We just sort of got pretty generic items for the most part. We were like one, part, one piece of Guppy away from being Guppy, obviously. And that would have been nice to have, but... We didn't, we haven't gotten it yet. The odds of us actually getting it are reasonably low. On account that, unless we find a curse room or something, we're probably not going to find it. I think Guppy's, oh, we might find Guppy's head, I suppose, in a golden chest, but eh, it's somewhat unlikely. Yeah, it's somewhat unlikely. But that's fine. We got full head of hearts. We got reasonable damage. We got a silly amount of bombs, but they're just normal bombs, so they're not, like, super good or anything. We got a stars card, so that could teleport us somewhere. And all in all, we could be uh, we could be up a lot worse. We should be grateful. And then we got hit by eyes a lot, but, you know, that just happens. Plus, we got, like, three or four diamonds cards, so... Yeah. Good times. Happy times. Ah, curse room! There could be an entire cat in there or something like that, you know. We can get some cool. We can get some neat after killing all these greaves. I'm killing the greaves before killing uh, Fistula, I believe its name is. Because Fistula spawns way too much nonsense. And if you can kill greed first, that, that, that would be preferable. Somewhat. Whoa, we actually got a ladder thing in this floor, which I didn't think was actually possible. And we... Wow. Oh, I don't know what to do with this. Uh, this changes things a bit. Oh, okay, I'm actually... Uh, I'm gonna change my seating position here. This, um... This is gonna require some thinking. So this is a black market. It, uh... It allows you to get certain shop items at the cost of hearts. And I will definitely take that one because it deals more damage. There's also a couple beggars. And as you may have noticed, there was also a hole that makes us go down a floor. I actually didn't know you could get that on this floor at all because... I, I just genuinely thought that wasn't possible, but there you go, I guess. Uh, I guess this run might be a little bit more interesting than I originally expected it to be. Uh, I guess I'll break these things. And get a credit card. Oh, credit card. There you go. We got everything. <laughs> that would have actually... And we got mom's contact for some reason. I guess we're just having a lot of mom items, or probably. So, credit card. Probably should have used that beforehand. But yeah, we'll we'll come back to this, I guess. We'll, uh, we'll definitely come back to this. Because that is interesting. First, I'm gonna kill Satan, though, because I'm not sure how that's going to affect our save file in any way. I was actually planning on just going back a bit to getting that stars card again. Which we left behind over there. And then going into our curse room over here. Which is obviously not a bad idea. Two big troll bums and one small one, which is not great. Let's see if there's a secret room hiding. And there is. All right. That means we don't have to use our stars card. And obviously, I, I kind of prefer not using our stars card on account that it could teleport us to a room where I don't really want to be. And I'd rather have my strength card at ready for that. But first, we're just going to keep going to the left over here. And then we'll... Oh boy, it's Ultra Pride. Ultra Pride is a big one. But he dies pretty quickly. Usually he has a different friend than just a generic angel friend, but this time around he didn't. And he drops the left hand. Which, thinking about it, I actually don't want. Because it turns, I think, every chest into a red chest. Which has its uses, but not where I'm going, probably. So we're just going to leave that there forever. I'm just going to kill these guys. I'm actually pretty happy about my build right now, to be honest. Because we're dealing quite a lot of damage. Another Bob's Rotten Head. Why not? Why not? Like, we're dealing quite a lot of damage. We have reasonable health. We have a, st a strength card. I just want to find Satan so we can go back to that one room and see what happens when I do the thing. Because it may take us to a place where we're technically not even supposed to be able to go yet. But I guess with that, we might be able to. Chariot. I, I actually kind of value that over the strength card, believe it or not. Uh, this is not great. I'm... I confused myself. When one of them started running in a different direction because of the fear effect, but that's fine. Got another soul heart. Yeah, we're just gonna fight uh, Satan over here. 
do the yeah something like that probably there we go it's just such a nice way of just getting rid of this first phase as quickly as possible but yeah the cherry card is actually quite nice for the second phase although we have a dry baby so we could actually just sort of position it like this and we'll probably actually be entirely okay by just standing over here and just shooting tears to the right dry baby also occasionally shooting it of course oh and then he stands over there all right using cherry card i'm just gonna nudge him a whole bunch we also have the virus still, so that deals a whole bunch of extra damage as well. And now we just gotta kill his feetsies. And there is a reasonable chance we might die <laughs> where we're going, because I'm sort of unprepared for where we might be going. Unless it's just gonna repeat this floor again. I'm Like, I'm honestly not sure how this is gonna work, but we'll see about that, I suppose. We're just gonna try and avoid everything. While simultaneously shooting the feetsies, would have liked if he didn't spawn so many of the exploding dudes, but that's his choice, I suppose. It's his prerogative if he wants to be a jerk about it. And my god, he's being a jerk about it right now. Uh, but we got this, we got this, we got this. We're all good. Okay, so we killed Satan. I don't know if this is going to reflect in our save file if we, uh, let's get that. If we go down the hole, because I will go down the hole. The hole is over here. I was briefly confused, but here it is. And let's see if this does what I think it does, which it probably does. It may take us to the so-called dark room. Oh, that does actually unlock the thing for um, beating Satan. We unlocked a negative because we killed Satan five times, I think. And now we're in the dark room, which is... Where you go if you enter the chest after killing Satan while you are carrying the negative. But because because we found that black market, we could just go in there anyway. Because it just happened to have a hole there that went to that same place. So the first couple of chests, they're just generic red chests. They can contain anything red chests do. Every other red chest from this point on is just going to function as a chest that has an item in it. Which is pretty great. The problem with the dark room is that it has... Rather nasty enemies. This is probably one of the harder floors for me, actually. And it's going to contain a lot of bosses. And I'm pretty worried. <laughs> but as you can see, like, it contains an item. We have Curse of the Blind, which is awful. Unicorn Stump. Uh, I might keep that over this, actually. Unicorn Stump, pretty good. It gives you, like, sort of invulnerability for a small amount of time every time you use it. And since we have the virus, we'll be able to deal a bunch of damage that way. So I'm actually going to take this, I think. And immediately, like, we're fighting two cages, which is not my favorite boss in the world in any occasion. If because of this. But at least we got our unicorn stump, so I'm actually just going to try and damage them both. We, we are not actually capable of firing while we're in that state, but... God, I don't, I've forgotten which one I was actually firing at previously, so I'm a little bit worried here. The fear effect is definitely helping us out, though, because it's making him not jump on us so much, so that's kind of nice, at least. Plus, now we're no, just both rolling around, and I think we should be pretty okay. That went pretty well, actually. I mean, still, we can still take damage here. We're not done yet. Not done until he's dead, but yeah, that went pretty well, actually. I'm pretty happy about that. Capricorn, all stats up. Very good item. I'm really worried, though, about doing that because we can get some really terrible items by just picking up random crap everywhere, so not really liking this too much. Gonna use my uh, unicorn stuff because I don't know where anything is. And just poison everyone, which definitely made life a little bit easier. Another item. And it's forever alone. It's the attack fly, which is actually quite nice with the unicorn stump as well because now we can deal a lot of damage. Using that as well, uh, that is a thing we already picked up once. That is Bloat, which is never a friend, but he is slowed down, and even though he's slowed down, we managed to take damage from him, which is uh, good stuff right there. And yeah, we just stay under him, that's really all there is to it. Strange how there was only one, I, I would have figured there would be more than just one Bloat. Two Fallen Ones, that's not so great, obviously. Wouldn't have minded not that being there, but I'm gonna use my Unicorn Stump as much as possible. You're going to use my dry baby, and I'm going to use my attack fly a little bit here. Getting a little bit dicey, though. Gotta watch out with these brimstone attacks over here. But at least my fear effect is actually helping out quite a bit. On account that it made one of them just stay away from me. And uh, dry baby helping out as well. Everyone's being a team player right now, and I'm very much appreciating that. 
We're just gonna go into the big rooms and hope that they lead us to where I need to be. This is a pretty good room for the unicorn stump as well, on account these guys don't have that much health. And the attack fly is pretty decent at taking these guys down. There are a bunch of pink ones though, so they do spawn the flies instead of the scary things as well. And there's just a bunch of them and they're all dead now and everything's good. Life's great! I'm- oh. <laughs> they're still not me alive, but it's, it's dead now. Virgo, you feel reversed and protected. I believe uh, this is it gives us this little bow on our head and we look adorable. And I believe the way that worked is that there's like whenever we get hit, now we have a chance of getting a little shield effect. I might be wrong on that. I might be thinking of a different item, but I'm pretty sure that's how it works. We're just going to keep this up, though. Keep getting rooms like this. I would enjoy that immensely. At least we're not getting like terrible items. So that's kind of good. Oh, man. If ever there was a room where we wanted things to slow down, it's definitely this one. Because fighting two of these guys is horrendous. Not a fan of that at all. That was a pretty good time to use my unicorn stump right there, I feel. But yeah, like fighting two of these guys at once, it can just be really awkward. And while they're slowed down, it does seem like they're doing a lot less attack, so... But yeah, their brimstone attack, if they both use their brimstone attack at the same time when they're in opposite end of, ends of the room, it's pretty much just unavoidable. But we got through that pretty well. Best Bud, Swarm Protector, only appears when we take damage, but that'll probably happen if we can make it to the boss on this floor. Which, uh, so far is going okay. We're getting pretty decent, like, rooms. Nothing too much to worry about here. Two guys did. Capricorn really helping us out as well because it makes us deal extra damage. Every damage up is just really welcome. Obviously, don't like this room ever. But we have the unicorn stub and we're able to poison a lot of these these goons over here. Dry baby also helping out by using that death effect and a lot of them are already dead. So, oh no, not so bad. One more item, please don't be terrible. Box of spiders. Uh, yeah, we can only use that here anyway, so we might as well use it once. And now we fight the boss. Which is the lamb. And we're immediately going to use our devil card. And he has two face, but we're dealing a pretty large amount of damage, so he might not even see most of it. I'm going to use my dry baby to like just avoid most of this right here. And he didn't even hit us, honestly. But after a while, he splits up into two, and now we're just going to try and focus down one of these. The bottom part, like has a tendency of shooting tears every now and then that explode and the bottom the top part just shoots a whole bunch of tears as well but it can also sort of zoom through the room it can do like i think it can do some sort of brimstone effect as well like that one right there <laughs> that went really well though like we have a lot of damage at our disposal here and we're actually gonna get an ending which normally we wouldn't even be able to get until the next run on account that we just unlocked the negative during this run but because we already had the negative, we could go into the dark room and it unlocks this ending. And then a whole bunch of credits, but yeah. That became a considerably more interesting run than I actually expected. The Angel's Weight, which is something we'll get to when we get to it. But yeah, definitely didn't expect that. We get this. We uh, sort of skipped out on one of the, like, the picture of the full negative, I think, is what we would have seen had we not been able to go to the lab. So unfortunately, we don't get to see that. But yeah, when we go to Lazarus now... You can see that we have done the entire right row of things. We just need to do our uh, boss rush and a couple other things, actually. But yeah, did not, definitely did not expect to get that during this run. That was one of the most ridiculous areas to get a black market. I've never seen a black market there, so that is probably a rarity. <laughs> and uh, pretty happy about that. Means we don't have to play as Lazarus as much, which is always a good, good, uh, good time. And uh, now we've got ending 15 unlocked, which uh, is great. We're getting close to having ending 10 and 11 though. And we got that challenge, that Demo Man challenge, and I definitely want to get that done as well because the unlock for that is amazing. And at some point I need to do the host and stuff like this as well, but we'll leave that for next time. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope to see you next time. And bye bye.